So you don't, so you, do, would you say it's a fallacy for an artist to say that they have to make a statement? Like if they make a piece of art that there's some type of statement, would you say that's a fallacy? Any art is going to be a statement. I mean, it, the very nature, it's going to state something. This is, this is one of the things where people, uh, when identity art, you know, is just so stupid. It's like, well, let's see, if I write, uh, if you read my stuff and you're reading a book, uh, my two and a half million uh, word novel on gangsters in the 1960s and the mafia, well, that should tell you that Dan has an interest in criminology. If you're reading my sci-fi book and uh, I'm talking about, uh, and, I, and you see tropes from Forbidden Planet or Star Trek or uh, half a dozen other famous science fiction works or whatnot, or maybe three or four dozen of them, well, Dan has some kind of interest in that. If I write a poem about a dying coelacanth, well, Dan has an interest in, in that. I mean... I don't have to say that I'm white. I don't have to say that I have a penis. I don't have to say that I was born in the uh, uh, mid 20th century. I don't have to say this or that because the range of interests will show that. Now, uh, there's going to be some things that are totally beyond the fact that I'm writing about Sargon of Akkad shows I have an interest in history, but maybe I could have written that 100 years from now or 200 years from now. But that same artist, but another artist in 200 years who will grow up maybe on a, a, a space station revolving around Jupiter and spend his whole life having grown up on Jupiter station and has never set foot on Mother Earth. That person is going to have that reflected in their art some way, somehow it will be there. I don't have, it doesn't have to say, you know, oh, this is, you know, Michele Mabumba, who grew up on Jupiter Station and was born in the year 2186 and, you know, is writing in 2240 uh, about his growing up on Jupiter Station because now he's moved to, you know, the, the green, the green state of Mars because Mars has now been colonized and what, all of these things are going to be incumbent and, 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 uh, an essential part of that person. You know, it, this is why, you know, if I'm, if I were gay, for example, why do I have to write everything about being homosexual? Wouldn't I be interested? I, if I were homosexual and I'm writing about Sargon of Akkad, why would I have to make, for example, Sargon uh, bisexual? You know, I mean, it, there's no evidence that he was or whatnot. There's no evidence that he wasn't. But why would I have to bring bring that into it? People want to always uh, have something that, but the very fact that they're writing about it says what what they are. Um, it's incumbent. You can't. It's inextricable from who they are because no matter how diverse it is, that will say who you are. Period.